Hello, my name is Sharktooth, and this one is a little bit different. Because the truth, the truth is that I am a brony. I'm a person who watched My Little Pony. And I know you guys are saying, that's weird. You're weird. Bronies are very weird. Are there furries or are there, you guys are going to say they're weird. But I'm not here just that. I am here just to tell you the truth. The truth is, a lot of people misjudge bronies. A lot of people think they're just an overweight man. Now, the word brony means an adult man watching, watching a My Little Pony show and he became a fan. But the truth is, it's not that true. All the things you know, all the things you heard about bronies are completely wrong. Bronies are not weird or not creepy they're not even that even weird look bronies are not like that bronies are people who are completely different i mean sure there's some people who are wider some people who are skinnier and some people have a strange looking face but that's not everyone's different look bronies are not weird there's different types of bronies. I'm a brony, so I know there's different types of bronies out there. And bronies are different. Because of them, they actually help the show. Because of the show My Little Pony. The show My Little Pony actually, well, it's became so popular and over the years since it first started in 2010. And, well, to make things clear, bronies is even... There's even some celebrities who are bronies. Heck, even the New Day W, even the New Day admitted they're bronies. But look, bronies are not, not like that. Bronies are not creepy. They love the show because they have a strong because they understand it. Because some people who says they they're just an adult does people who says about bronies are just weird. They don't know the truth. The truth about bronies is not just watching the show. Because the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has a meaning. And that meaning is showing what it's like without a friend. Or what you like will have a friend. And I know some of you guys are wondering. Bronies are people who don't have friends. That's not true. Because of the show, because of the show popularity, they actually made a new con called BronyCon, and I know it's a little bit weird, some people represent, think there's just a bunch of people dressing as furries as a My Little Pony one, not true, the truth is, people are good at the things, people, there are even some animators who even watch My Little Pony and even love the show, and because the show has a strong meaning, it has a strong meaning. Because every, everyone thinks the brownies are just, and they think sh the My Little Pony is just cringy and nothing else. But why will you judge something on a show that you barely even watched? You think it's just a girl's show. You think it's just a, a show just for children. Well, let me tell you something. My, this My Little Pony is different than the other franchises and the reincarnation of My Little Pony. Because this one is different. No, there is no, there is no My Little po there is no My Little Pony weird style. There is no, no like, weird things in this thing. All there is is this one is new. The show based on a tw on a character named Twilight Sparkle, and this show is different than the others. I mean, this show. I mean, look at the ratings. This show is really good for a lot of people, and you cannot judge it. Frankly, I'm asking you to watch the show. And this show, I know some of you are going to disagree. But to tell you the truth, the show has strong meanings of showing you can actually come out of your dep out of your shell. And I making real friends. I mean, for instance, look at Pinkie Pie. This pink pony. I know it's a little bit weird, but just hear this out. Pinkie Pie... When she was younger, she was sad and depressed because she always been pull pulling rocks. So, 
But when she has that rainbow, she experienced lot and happiness. I mean, that's how she got her talent. And sooner or later, that's what she represents. The people who used to have depression, but actually beat depression and happy in the good time. And the show has good meaning. And because of, the, because of BronyCon, a lot of people even made friends. Some people even made, actually found love over there. And they're not weird. Bronies can be all shapes and sizes. There's even some celebrities who even are bronies. I think I said that before. But look, what I'm trying to say is that you cannot judge bronies. Bronies are not like that. Bronies are people who love the show. And now, the reason why I'm making this is because My Little Pony is coming to an end. Season 9 is the final episode, final season. And it is sad for me. But to tell you, look what the bronies did. Not, I mean, sure, a lot of people say bronies are weird and they are perverted. But let me tell you, bronies are not the same. They're completely different. There are groups of people, bronies. I mean, others groups, some who disagree and some who agree. But those are not the bronies I'm talking about. I'm talking about the bronies who respect the show and don't do any weird things. Now, these bronies have made incredible animation, and amazing songs because of the show. And because of them, they actually became big success. For, in for instance, the underground tombstone is actually, he's a good, uh, good, actually, well, Frankly, he's a really good remixer. And he made a couple of videos about My Little Pony. And that's why. And all these shows. Even the story. Even the lore in My Little Pony is actually sad. Some people say that it's not sad. It's just weird. But the truth is, I'm not talking about that. You cannot judge something. Something that is you did not know. I'm asking you to watch My Little Pony. Not, I'm not asking you are going to be a brony. I'm asking you to watch it for you can see it for yourself. Not in a weird way, but I'm showing you that, I'm showing you that the truth, you need to hear the truth. And all these things that people said about bronies are not true. They're not true. Bronies are spectacular people. They're not furries. They're not weenie boos. They're not even weird things. All they are is actually making this thing actually happen. And besides, I'm a brony. I don't we look at weird stuff. But the show is amazing. The show helped a lot of people who are sad and depressed over the years. People who don't even have friends. People who even are upset. Well, but when they saw the show, they loved this. Because you know why? You want, want me to tell you the truth. You know why adults love this show? Because it's relatable. Adults have some rough lives and they need something that can help them. And they, it has a really rough life. And My Little Pony reveals that it does reveal that it does have a rough life. I mean, that's why everybody loved the show. Not just men. Everyone. Women. All ages. Men. Women. Teenagers. Youngs. That's what I'm trying to say. The lore of My Little Pony is sad. And because we because the show has a real 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 re thing that people can relate. Being sad, having no friends, trying to be someone who you are not. I understand all that. So, since season 9 is is the end is the final se season. I want to say this to you, everyone who don't like bronies. I want you to go to My Little Pony and watch the very first season. And I know you guys are saying, no, you won't. I won't. But the truth is, the truth is that the show has a really strong meaning that the people need to see. I'm not making it in a weird way. I'm saying that the show has relatable things. If you don't want to see it, you don't have to see it. But if people who are curious about the show, go right ahead. But the best way to do it is to watch it in the very, very beginning. Because of this show, 
This show helped a lot of people over the years. And I am actually proud to be a brony. And now since the show is ending, well, I'm asking all of you people out there not to be a brony, but I'm asking you to watch the show one last time before the story ends. All, or even the bronies who are watching this, I want to say the show may be ending, but the legacy lived on.